am Rich Camfield with Ultrabond, and today we're going to talk about how to clean and maintain your Ultrabond tools. The Ultrabond tools are very easy to clean and maintain. How often should you clean them? When they get dirty. But if, as a general rule, if you're working outside, you're going to probably clean your tools once a week. If you work inside, about once a month. What do I mean well, as about when they get dirty? Well, you'll get cured. If you're working outside, you can get cured resin on your threads there. So what happens is it's not, it's not going to run smooth like this. So you're going to feel, feel it catch. And that's when you should clean off your tools. Also, if you ever see any black uh, inside your resin, your resin has some black stuff in there, that's your O-ring is worn out. And that's when you change your O-ring. So you clean it off and change your O-ring. Uh, O-rings, that will last you for months. Like I said, until you see them not seal, or you see some black in your resin, that's when you change your piston O-ring. So how do you clean your tool? Well, you use rubbing alcohol. You can use 70% or 91%. You put it in your cleaning jar. Take the injector off of your structure. Loosen your set screw. Pull out your piston. Place it in the alcohol. Pull it out with your tweezers. And then wipe it off with a rag. On your cylinder, pull out your uh, cylinder o-ring, place it in the alcohol, then place your cylinder in the cleaning jar. Take the cleaning brush, grab a hold of your cylinder, and run the brush through your cylinder. A couple times like that. Place it back in there. And pull that out, set it aside for a second. We'll go back to that. On your threads here, dip the threads in here. Take the brush and wash off your threads. And then wipe those off. Suction cups, just use your spray away glass cleaner. how simple and easy it is to clean your tools. Now let's go back to the cylinder. You can take a uh, pipe cleaner to dry it out and run that through your cylinder. Or, if you can't find pipe cleaners, you take a paper towel, break off a little piece of paper towel, Twist that through your cylinder. Do you see it come out this end? And now you're all clean and ready to go. So again, uh, cleaning your tools don't have to be done unless they're dirty. Now if you get resin that is stuck on your threads, then use acetone. Dip it in acetone and let it soak in the acetone and then brush it off. It usually will come off that way. Same thing here. If you get if you get cured resin in your threads, dip that and let it soak in acetone and then brush off the cured resin. If that did not work, then you are going to uh, put your tool into an oven at 225 degrees, which will cause the cured resin to soften and you'll be able to remove it with your brush. So what you would do is, is you would take all the parts off of here you would take this if it has cured resin on it or this 
stick it in the oven 225 degrees then with a glove on take it out and brush off the cured resin that's if acetone doesn't take it off so there you have it uh, maintaining your tools again your piston will last for months uh, your cylinder always usually lasts until you lose them you will lose it drop it and lose it before it will wear out. But if you ever see it leaking, then it might be time to change the cylinder oil. And that's it. That's how you maintain your and clean your Ultrabond Crackmaster tools.